The MVS X Neo Geo by Unico. Forgive my ignorance, but I don't know who Unico is. is. You know, I'm a Neo Geo fan. Is that something to do with Neo Geo? And I'm just not aware. Is that a company who's making this for them? Because I've been Google searching for the past hour who the heck Unico is or what does Unico mean trying to find that logo. I don't know what it is. So if you know, please let me know in the comments down below. But a lot of people have been sending me this like, hey, take a look. So we're going to be taking a look. We got a full game list, all sorts of stuff going on here. Like a little bar top Neo Geo, but I do find some things interesting here. So there's a lot of information up here, but then a lot of not information as well. As you see, release date, October 2020, right around the corner. MSRP, $500, includes the base. And there's a shiz ton of games included. Not the full library, but then I wonder, why are there six buttons on each side? Okay, so we have a bunch of pictures here. King of Fighters 98, the Slugfest, right? Looks like you got a couple speakers up in the front, a little fake coin acceptor, maybe? Interesting. Here's a little side angle, which we already kind of seen from the top there. And and here's the, the everything's just a, a render. It's not like actual products here. See this Unico logo, that's that's got me baffled. I'm sorry, somebody will probably be like, how do you not know that? What is What Unico is? I'm sorry, dude, I just don't know. Left player start. Options, select game, right player start, and then like a little uh, dial. Is that for uh, the speaker, possibly? Speaker, uh, 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 level of sound? Volume? That's what it's called, volume level of sound. What the hell am I? <laughs> you got a little marquee up there. Dope. And, you know, that $500 price point, it does come with that riser. But what's up with the coin door stuff? Is that legit or is it just a sticker? Here's the back, looks like you got the power and all that good stuff that's gonna plug into that. Now here's the games, 50 masterpiece games, both MVS and AES modes supported. Thank God, what? Both modes, I mean, I would have been happy if they just said it was MVS mode, but both modes, thank you. Somebody understands what's going on here, right? Click to enlarge. Why well, click that bitch and it ain't enlarging? Oh, oh, you click the game and it enlarges. All right, well, I mean, I know what most of these games look like. You got. You got King of Fighters all the way up to what? King of Fighters 2003, all the Metal Slugs, Samurai Showdown, one, two, three, four, five, and five special. No five perfect. Why not? Why not? Is there an exclusivity deal on that? Fatal Furies, like all of them. Mark of the Wolves, World Heroes, World Heroes, Heroes 2 Jet, World Heroes Perfect, uh, Art of Fighting, Sengoku, one, two, and three, Savage Rain, Magician Lord. Okay. Last Blade, Last Blade 2. No. What? Okay, well, we're missing some stuff that I would hope for. Um, but, yeah, this is an interesting list. Mostly all fighting games. Other than the Metal Slugs, Sengoku, a couple other notable things. There were some sports games, Top Players Golf, Baseball Stars, Football Frenzy. Uh, you do have Shock Troopers, just the first one, though. Huh. Interesting. Why... Wow, this is an interesting list, but it's it's like, okay, 50 games. Yeah, it's very similar to all the other Neo Geo products out there right now. The Neo Geo Mini, the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. Neo Geo Mini was between like 40 to 48 games. The Arcade Stick Pro stock 20 games plus the additional 20 that are locked on there. I believe they're up to like 16 of them unlocked, but you know we've unlocked all of them. Who cares, right? But you had 40 games on that so this is 10 additional for a hell of a lot more money and the specs on this thing as far as like the display 17 inch display that's kind of small this is a small little cabinet it looks like you got little people right here size and panel fixed perfectly two players Wh what kind of players the width is 15 inches 17 inches deep 25 inches high just for the 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 bar top 15 inches that Oy. You got to look at diagonals with the uh, the the screen display is measured by uh, both MVS. Okay, they got like a little screen there. You can't really like click anything to blow it up, but you do have uh, some options there. Game image pixel to pixel scale and scan line support. MVS X has a 1280 by 1024 LCD screen, and we have pixel to pixel scale to remake the perfect pixel. Scale. Okay, CRT image emulate the CRT image. We have a standalone MVS style base. Uh, the height is 32 inches, making the attached unit and base a nearly five foot tall arcade unit. Okay, that's not 
too bad. I mean, on the height there, but it's still just so it's going to be cramped. But I mean, it is kind of neat. 28 pounds just for this thing. That bar top that I looked at not too long ago, the Pandora's box, the measurements were, were a bit bigger than this, um, at least as far as the width and the, the depth, I believe. Height-wise, it was a little smaller than this, but this has like a big-ass marquee, whereas that one didn't. And that thing weighed like nearly 50 pounds. So, yeah, this is like half the weight. You know, I'm curious what they're using as far as the uh, the the material. Is it going to be cheaper than Arcade 1-Up stuff? Accessories. There you go. See, what's up with this coin door? Is it like a legit coin door? If you just buy the bar top, it's four fifty. The the riser, a hundred dollars. Get them both. You know, you're just paying an extra fifty bucks. So why not, right? You click on these movies, and they don't even freaking play. What is Unico? Unico, October twentieth. Oh my god, I clicked on these a few times. It doesn't do anything. It just brings you back to the screen. So this is like a work in progress. Is this like a a legit thing? Are we being trolled here? Did somebody just pull this out their arse? Like, look, we click on that. There's no video. There's just a fake little display right there. Pro gear spec. What? Where to buy? There's nowhere to buy it right now. What if we click here? Oh, it just brings us here to where we could click like, hey, I want to buy this in the U.S., but there's for this coming out in just a couple months. The frick's going on, bro. So here's the games. They got it all listed by category. Pretty interesting. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. I wish Samurai Showdown 5 Perfect was on here. Man, I don't know, dude. There's too much coming out this year. I'm a huge Neo Geo fan, but man, like if this came out a year ago, I probably would have bought it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. There's just, you You have the PS5, the Xbox uh, Series X coming out. You got like, there's so much stuff coming out, dude. I don't know if I, oh man. And why is there six buttons, right? FAQ. Uh, what's in the box? Okay, Terry Bogard figure, Iori Yagami figure. Okay, no, there's no ability to load MVS cartridges. No shit. <laughs> two players, of course, it's two players. It's a two player panel. Are you stupid? Here's the list of games. I mean, we don't need to read all of that, but I mean, there's some stuff that's just miss missing. Missing. It's missing, yo. Uh, in the media, there's nothing in the media, there's no press quotes. There's nothing here. I'm interested. You go to their Facebook. There's nothing there. No content available. Um, you click on their their tweeters, their twatters. And yeah, they got like 46 followers. They just barely joined not too long ago. This has been up. The news has been out there for a few days now, for about a week. But nobody was talking about it. Um, I think so, somebody had sent me an image not too long ago. And I thought it was fake because I didn't see the website. And now... Everybody's talking about this, sending me messages like, take a look, bro. Am I going to get this thing? Uh, it's so it's so tough. And I know people will be like, don't bullshit. You're going to buy it. Got the trash truck out here picking up trash. Son of a bitch. Right when I would record, right? What kind of nonsense is this? Finally, you're here. Normally, you get here hours ago, you bitch. But, man, I, I don't know what to think. What do you guys think? These are all renders. No real images here. There's six buttons for each controller. If this is Neo Geo... Just do four buttons. Just keep it Neo Geo. Look at that flicker. What the, that, hold on a second. L what is that, some poor emulation? Who, where did they get that, that flicker from? Is that, does that game normally flicker like that? The hell is this? Look at that, dude. Like that game doesn't look like that. What, what are they, what are they peddling here? Is Soldier Boy involved? That's all I want to know. Is, where's Soldier Boy at? I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. I'm, Curious on a lot of things. What's up with this weird coin door bullshit? What's up with the coin door on the, the panel there? Is it real? Does it do anything? Probably not. It's just a sticker, I bet. But let me know what you guys think. Ah, should I buy? I know you guys would be like, yeah, just get one so we can find out from you. But it's just $500, man. I'll have to wait and see. I'll have to wait and see. Appreciate you guys watching. With that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.